All right, it's the <clears throat> end results. Day five, about 1.45. Um, today mostly consisted of getting that angled handrail put in place. That, that takes a while, don't underestimate that. I mean, that took probably four hours to get that one in. Um, if, if we've done more of these more often, it might be a little quicker, but it's, you just gotta get those angles right. And the bad thing is, this stuff took three weeks, two and a half, three weeks to get in. So you mess up, not only you gotta buy more, but you gotta stop everything for three weeks. So anyway, um, that's that. That stuff comes with instructions. This is AFCO, AFCO, aluminum handrails. It's what we used. But that's the final product. Turned out super duper nice. Um, did those <coughs> handrails coming down today. We had one piece in the corner over here. Had to put a piece, I don't know if you can see that the sun's bright, but up and up against the wall, there was a wooden post right there. Now it's not there, so we need to replace that with something. There was some vinyl behind it. Um, Timothy, I think it was Barco, that had asked me if, you know, some things that we learned or he's got a deck coming up to do like this. This is a 16 by 14. Timothy or anybody else that needs to, you know, wondering. It took, you know, two guys that have never done a deck like this before and just resurfacing it. it took five days, five good days. Um, once we got started, I was like, man, we can do this in three days. No way. There ain't no way. I can't. Um, somebody else might, might could have, but I'm, I couldn't have. Um, it's just those deck boards take time. You have to... Um, Every deck board, you put your clips in, back up in here, put a clip in, get it, get somebody ready to drill, and then you go down to the next joist with a, like a hammer and a chisel or a spike, drive in there and pull so that the board comes in the whole time. The, the spacers in there keep you out far enough, but you know, if you squeeze it too hard, it'll come on in, but for the most part, they keep your gap the same. You know, you want to measure every, about every five boards going towards that house. We would measure right, center, and left so that when you get down to the end, you don't have a board that's not straight. If your measurement's off an inch or so, you just start opening or closing that gap on whichever end to slowly fade back in to, you know, have an exact same measurement. So that's something you need to keep in mind. On this picture framing, when we did this, we first started putting these boards in, it started pushing this out, this gap. So we came back and after talking to some people and looking at other decks, you put a screw in right here and it'll hold that. It holds that for you as you go because once you start pulling, keep in mind, you will move these other boards if you pull too hard. So not like a wooden deck where you put it down you're done with it. It's, it can still move and you really need to go ahead and you don't put many screws in these decks, but you do have some on this picture frame. Get some screws about every 16 inches here so that when you start putting these boards in, it won't drive that board back. Um, <clears throat> that fascia board was nice. It's very expensive. That piece of wood right there is about $105, $110. But the wooden posts were bolted to the side of this uh, seal. So it had, it had big holes in it and all the pickets were nailed into it. You could have filled it and painted it, but it if you're gonna if you're gonna go you might as well go all the way um trying to think anything else these handrails you know i don't know if this is what you might use um the way those work you you size the bottom rail and the top rail get it to the right length the top rail was three quarters of an inch shorter um because in here there's this is a cap but inside of here there are a couple of screws and the heads will be in the way of this if you make it if you cut that top rail all the way so you know that's something we learned once you learn that stuff you realize what you got to do now if your bottom post if or, or rails your top and bottom actually i guess if you're going to cut eight inches off of them you don't cut eight inches off the end you cut four inches off of each end so that your pickets will will line up you don't want to you don't want to pick it right up against that and then down there not the same see on this post where that picket meets that post is the same as it is right here 
So that's that's what that is. You got to make sure these caps, see these bolt, these posts bolt down. I think I showed this in another video. There's four bolts now underneath there. We've got blocking. You don't want to just bolt that straight to this deck board. It won't be as strong. These posts are solid. Every one of them. Um, that's all I can think of right now. I guess I might make a follow-up video. Um, you know, kind of what I've learned. Um, but I can't think of anything. We made made these cuts with a miter saw. Um, it will cut this deck and board. Um, you might need, you know, you'll need, well, this is all miter saw. You know, you might need a scroll saw if you have to notch anything. I'm, somehow we notched a board somewhere, but I can't remember. Um, what else? Those little white support pieces that you see, those came with the kit in here. Those came with the kit, so those are supposed to be there. Put them in the center in case anybody sits on that rail. Oh man, that's about it. I think the biggest thing we learned is don't underestimate this stuff. If you think it's gonna take three days, double it. And and make sure you add enough for any cost you might not think about. We, we actually didn't screw up any boards when we cut them. We didn't make one mistake, at least that couldn't be um, corrected. As far as like if we cut a board too short, then you can use it for your stairs. But um, order extra wood. Oh, we used a router. Had to use a router. That's something you might would want. You know, because these boards have grooves in them. Let's see. Every board has a groove in it, so that clip will go in. But you wouldn't want to see that groove right here. So you, you have to order boards without a groove on the edges. But on this back edge, you have to come back in there and run it down the router table and get a groove in that end because it has to be able to go into a clip. So you will need a router and a table. Obviously cannot do that free-handed. So all these boards have a smooth edge on this last toe board and all the way around. You wouldn't want a groove in that board. All right, well, I got to go. I got to go to the mill tonight. So I'm gonna call this, call this done. I got to come back and pick up a little bit of mess here, take that lattice back. She's going to put, wants me to put lattice all up against those six bys up underneath just to keep animals out. She's got some animals she thinks comes from those woods. I want to keep those out. I got to get that wood up. But other than that, I'm done. It took two people um, five full days and every bit of them, eight hours. Pop was just saying I didn't give him a break. He, he wanted to know when the break whistle was. I told him there wasn't one. He's over. He's already gone back over to his house. Um, and that's his deck over there. But anyway, that's it. Appreciate all the comments, all the feedback. Everybody seems to think it looks good, so good. As long as the homeowner thinks it looks good, I'll be happy. Over and out.